fancy beauties and bones happy Halloween this is my costume for this year and I know it's late but maybe it'll give you an idea for next year's Halloween costume contest if you're entering one I did enter one I didn't win unfortunately if I would have had some props and all that kind of stuff I think I would have taken it anyway my costume is an ET princess so an extraterrestrial princess and then I decided to go with these ears I spray painted the ears I spray painted the wig it originally came that lilac purple color so I wanted to leave that in because I was gonna do my skin in a purple color so it went very well with the theme then I decided it wouldn't the ears wouldn't stick so I end up taking those off you're gonna see me struggle here with the paint it wasn't showing up so I figured I'll go in with some foundation it helped a little bit but I end up using another paint color and all my colors came from Walmart just the inexpensive uh, body paint it comes in the package so I just used that and it worked out very well I end up going ahead as you can see here using the white paint the face paint and that served as my base for the purple and that's when I was able to get a little bit more color payoff I ended up as you'll end up seeing here later in the video I had to end up taking some eyeshadow to really help me bring it all together so right here I'm just putting on the second coat of that white paint and just kind of making it another layer so it will look more seamless and I can blend it better so now you see I'm just going in with that purple paint again and as you can see it's coming up a little bit better than before so I am pleased with the way that it finally came out so if you go in Walmart don't get those body paints that's 98 cent those are not gonna work it's not gonna give you any color payoff so just a tip for you on that All right, now we're gonna go into our Inglot palette and I'm just taking the old blender and I'm dipping into that purple color so it can give me a little bit more dimension and some texture to the look. Let me know if those eyes are freaking you guys out. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and start placing the rhinestones. The rhinestones, I picked those up from Walmart as well. And I'm, I start having difficulties here. What I was trying to do is get it to where it was on the wig and on my skin, but it wouldn't stick to the wig. So I ended up having to go straight into the skin. Make sure when you do this, if you do this, that you bring those rhinestones down. Uh, maybe bring the wig down some as well so it, the glue won't get into your hair So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my glitter And this glitter is so pretty and just in case uh, you guys are wondering where I got some of my inspiration it was part my my look that I came up with in my imagination and then I did some searching on YouTube and I found a wonderful uh, makeup artist and she does wonderful Halloween costumes 
So I'll link her information across the screen and as well as in the description bar so you guys can check her out as well. She's a funny and very talented young lady. Halloween is like my best. I love Halloween and I get so much inspiration. I get so excited about this time of year. I know it's a lot of controversy around it. I'm going to do my research and see if I can find out from my Bible uh, what it actually says about Halloween because to me it's just fun it's just your way of expressing yourself in another form just like any other makeup to me so that's just another thing that's been going around for a number of years so I'm just gonna do my research on it anyway back to the fun stuff we're gonna go ahead and start putting the rhinestones for our eyebrows after I do some touching up with the glitter and I found a quicker way to get those rhinestones on and that'll be coming up here shortly so just take a string of them and you can see where I was like yes this is gonna work so I went ahead and just applied my lash glue and adhered it that way much quicker much easier less mess because I don't have that big of a steady hand so that really helped me out a lot so now we're gonna move into the eyes and this was the part that just made everything come together so I took that purple color and used that as the transition color all over that upper part of my eyelid. And oh my gosh, when it, when I did that, I started to see so much of which way I wanted to go with this look. And I brought that color down onto my sides of my nose to do a little contouring. That part of the rhinestone was supposed to be my princess feel to the whole look and so now we're going back to the eyes and placing that silver eyeshadow down which is coming from wet and wild and I love it it just all came together I did a lot of my makeup off camera like my uh, eyeliner and my lashes so unfortunately you guys didn't see that part but you've seen me do that a billion times so it's pretty much the same process so I'm just going back in with a black and just kind of increasing that the depth in that cut crease if you will and I found that highlight at Walmart as well in the Halloween it was limited edition and this also helped me to set this look off now you'll see my rhinestones they're kind of coming off I didn't feel it because the rhinestones are so light that you don't even realize that you have them on your face so they're gonna be hanging out you know just for a little while until I finally realized that I need to press them back in so I just took that highlight color and just put it all over my face, all on my neck and my chest area. And it's such a pretty color. I might even try to use that in a regular makeup tutorial. Let me know if you guys want me to try and do that. So now I'm just going to do some contouring. This is the part that I picked up from Nicole as well. As, as well as the glitter part is, uh, is inspiration that came from her. I couldn't get my words together. But I saw her do this part on her face and I figured, you know what, this might work. And it actually did. So I'm glad that I found her channel. So now we're going to take that black and just kind of add some dimension to it like we did for the eyes
and we're gonna do some contouring on our neck area and on our chest I did put that glitter on my chest as well not a lot but I did put some down there along with some rhinestones and I think you'll be able to see it in the end of the at the end of the video so I went back to the eyes and just smoked those out some more and just did that by adding some eyeliner and that was all I needed to do and it just came more together than ever I don't know why I'm tripping over my words right now guys it's, this is funny so I took some purple and went underneath that black just to give it a more smoky effect and added some more highlight to the area where I needed to cover up some more of my skin and then I added some more rhinestones on my cheek my cupid's bow and on my chin and I think that might be in here I don't think I might have not gotten that on the tape because I was running out of time I had to get to work and it was a super long day but I really enjoyed doing this for you guys let me know if you enjoyed it as well as you can see here I just added some black rhinestones on the side there and we're coming to the end of the video I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of it and don't forget to subscribe like and stay tuned for more videos guys this is your girl Gina checking out and I will see you in the next video